I'm back. So, uh, I was a bit over redundant, but sort of. But here is my review on the NECA Thermal Vision Fugitive Predator, or as I saw in the poster, Fugitive Predator poster version or DVD version. So here he is. Of course, I don't have the box because it's in another box in the storage. But it is kind of bland. It was mainly just a Predator with a thermal vision and all that stuff. No window box, sadly. It's kind of like those Dutch figures. But anyways, here's a figure. So let's start off with the painting and the sculpting. The painting and the sculpting on this figure is pretty good. For the thermal vision, you can't really expect much from thermal vision. Because clearly it's all in infrared and you get all these random colors. Now, he doesn't, now, you can see there's a few colors with the eye scar, the red eyes, the blue, light blues, that combine with the nice translucent blue. And also the nice color here, that's pretty much everywhere on the body. I wish the plasma caster was a bit more blue, but anyways, that's not a big problem, because he wasn't that entirely blue throughout the entire, like, poster. And you can see the nice blue, light blues everywhere. Nice light blue coloring. And has a nice thermal vision. Has a nice, has a shuriken. But of course, the back is very bare minimum. Because, well, of course, this never appeared that this is a poster. So it didn't have the backside yet. But you can also see the wrist blades are colored in which side they go. Now, sadly, I don't even know where the other half is, but this is all I have. Now, articulation, this figure is clearly the same as Fugitive. I mean, there are two repaints. So, if you want to go watch that review, go ahead. But if you missed out on it, here is the articulation. Ball joint on the head. Very nice ball joint at the head. He can look up and down. Also, nice sense. I mean, the plasma caster can be a bit loose. Also, it's broken. So it's on a hinge joint, the hinge joint, and also act as a ball joint here on the cannon. I don't, know, I don't like how NECA made their fugitive credit to plasma cast because it's very fragile. Arm is on an actually a rubber shoulder pad, but it might break, so don't try forcing it out. Um, again, not as much articulation on the arms. No bicep swivel except this. However, once you bend this, sometimes this can usually pop out, so good luck. So it has a gauntlet swivel and a hinge joint wrist articulation system. Also along with that is a nice articulation at the waist, which is smooth. Oh boy. Which is smooth it is very very smooth you can kick up that far and move back that far and a nice uh beautiful beautiful spread swivel at the thigh and of course a nice bend and articulation at the knee and a ball jointed feet supposability really good i think a little bit better over the original in terms of like smoothness, because I think my yeah mine was a bit uh stiff. Should have done a double double review. Now accessories. Besides the plasma caster, he comes with he comes with the two wrist blades. He comes with the two wrist blades, which do look nice. However, he also comes with another batch, which I don't know where it is. Now, that's sadly all he comes with, just those. Not as much, you know, stuff you come as he comes with, just those, sadly. Now, in terms of size, again, this boy is, of course, the same size as, like, 80% of my figures, 80% 80 of these guys. Taller than all the older Predators, like the boot, like water emergence, but the same size as like regular Fugitive. So there he is. So um, sort of a buy now, skip it, or wait for a deal, which I don't know where you can find it around your targets or anything like that. 
yeah, this figure is really, really old, sort of. The only thing, I think, 2019, I think. I think, yeah, it was made in 2019. I don't know what's the whole entire use for it, except in case if you want to go ahead and complete the Predator, sh the Predator movie shelf, then this is a one to pick up. And you know what? He was sort of my first ever Predator, the Predator movie figure. And I originally thought he was the rarest, but actually once I came back, the candidate, he actually, um, there's so many of them. So there's no worry if you live in Canada. Maybe there's going to be some fugitives there, especially where there's a store near me. However, if you want to go find it in your local targets, uh, good luck. It's not on BigBadToaster.com, so it's technically an exclusive. Kind of like the Burning Gods that were mold. But, anyways, over my final thoughts, it's actually kind of nice to get more thermal vision stuff. It kind of looks so much better over the Dutch or even the Alien. But, anyways... Um, basically, uh, my figure sort of. So, uh, mine, so, um, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends. Uh, of course, I forgot on the last time. Discord server in the description below. And I might, if I can find it, maybe I'll find the link to the actual link you can actually buy it from. But, uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.